It was only about seven days ago I get a call from a good buddy of mine, Pete Coriel, who do some local diving together and had a lot going on in my life and, and with work. And one of the things that really does it for me is just being able to just buy a plane ticket last minute and go on a dive trip. I come from a place like New York City where every single thing you do is on like such a specific clock, super timed out, super stressful environment. And it gets me super really pumped just to be like separate from every other thing, every other like stressful piece that's in my life. Just something about taking you into another world. Feel like we're all here for a purpose and I feel that you're only as good to others as you are good taking care of yourself. Sitting out there floating, taken by the current, and just being relaxed and not thinking about any care in the world. It's a super special feeling, and I, I, it's something that I really strive to do and experience as much as I possibly can. What's amazing about Latham is it's one of the few places in the world that I know of where you can hunt the biggest dog tooth tuna in the world alongside with probably some of the biggest elephant tuna in the world. Uh, several world record uh, dog tooth have come out of there and over the last few years, we've been seeing some massive elephant tuna, uh, very similar to Ascension Island situations. And uh, of course, alongside with that, there's a lot of other pelagic fish from Wahoo and GT and other billfish. The things about doing trips like these and about spearfishing and other extreme sports is it's really for thrill seekers and uh, I've come to understand that being a thrill seeker it's about finding those extreme highs and you will find them but it really comes always with the possibility you're going to hit that extreme low and then you're going to hit an extreme high and you're going to be like oh my god this is my dream this great feeling is going to last forever and I feel like it really comes down to that and that kind of in itself creates a balance. The hunt for Ori and the understanding that sometimes it just could all go to hell. One of my biggest passions in life, which has also become my career, is spearfishing. And spearfishing has been this catalyst um, to motivate me to travel to all different parts of the world, remote areas, beautiful parts of the world. And it's been an amazing experience traveling with Nick, Sawyer, and Henry um, all over the world, chasing waves and fish and adventure and interacting with all different people of all walks of life and, and experiencing all these incredible places. And I'm looking forward to the next adventure.